Hey, this is Mehdi with Fullstack Library, and this video is just a short introduction about the projects we'll go through. We have here a wireframe. This wireframe will be, this is the final result of what you want exactly. Why I create this wireframe right here is just to get an idea about the composing the element and just have an idea on how to manage the layout. And if we take a look, okay, let's just put that in full screen. And we have a logo. We have the header. This is an element. This header wrapper will include the logo and will include the navigation and a call to action. So just to have an idea, because when you create HTML, when you start writing HTML, if you have an, an idea about how the elements are managed, so for sure your HTML will be structured. And for the other part, we have the hero. This is the hero. And the hero will have a call to action, a headline, and some text right here. The content of the hero will be at the center. Maybe this one can be an image or whatever, but this one will be the content and will be put at the center and just manage that through the wireframe. And we have also a courses list, which will have a title, then some content right here and the items. So it can be products, can be whatever, but in our case, courses list, this is the image of the course, the title and the price. They just put multiple items. You can have two, three, but we manage this layout so to have three. At the end or at the bottom, we have the footer. This will be also the logo, like this one. And just put the brand will be also at the footer and some other items that we will manage to add into the footer. So this is just a wireframe. We take a look at the final result. You will find that it is similar. So this is similar to the wireframe. So this wireframe is just put how the layout is managed. And this is the final result. This is not a sketch file or Photoshop file. So I already created the, the theme. I already created by using the channel and CSS. I'm just giving you, so to get just an idea of the final result. So this is the header, this is the hero and featured, featured courses. And this is the footer. All of that needs to be convert it to HTML and CSS. Just keep in mind that we will not go through the basic styling like font size, background image, or any other property which is not linked to managing the layout. We will only go through the positioning properties which where we will discover how to use Flexbox in order to manage a layout. And for that, I create a reset CSS which include all of that the opacity, the font size, the line height. We will not go through through that. So what we are interested with is just the the, the HTML and CSS code, and, and the other thing is managing the layout. So we'll use Flexbox in order to manage all of these items from the wireframe to manage all of these items by using Flexbox. And this is the core idea about. And this is the core idea of this lesson, using Flexbox and managing items by using Flexbox. 